Welcome to this short tutorial uh, to show a few basic uh, steps in data cleansing to achieve uh, a clean data file. My name is Ronald Gunnarsson. Uh, one of the first steps is to try and look for obviously incorrect values in your data set. Uh, and let's start by looking um, uh, for the variable smoker. So usually we start with clicking on analyze descriptive statistics frequencies and then we find the variable smoker click on the arrow to get it over in this box and then hit OK. And when we look at the outcome we can see that we have non-smokers uh, they're coded as a zero in our data set, but they also have the label non-smoker. Uh, number one corresponds to smoker, and then we have one single observation where it's coded as number nine, and that is a bit suspicious. So let's go and find this number nine. So one way of doing it would be to go in the column for smoker and just scroll down which you can do quite easily if you have a small data set but if you have a larger data set that becomes a bit tedious so in that case uh, go down to data and select cases and we click if for example let's find smoker yeah click on the arrow to get it over, smoker equals 9 hit continue and OK you will see that it pops up a filter on here, so we have sort of filtered out our data set, we can see here that most of the cases are filtered out so let us find our number 9 our smoker label as number 9 Let's go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies, and then pick, we have one variable called Patient Number, which is just a sequential number. And we can see that this single observation is Patient Number 558. That means we know where to look in our data file. So let's go down to Patient Number 558. Okay, this is patient number 558. And in the column smoker, we have the observation 9. So let's go back and check in the raw data. And once we have done that, we discover that this observation should actually be coded as a 0, which makes sense because 0 and 9 is very close to each other on the keyboard, so you may easily have pressed the wrong button. So let's change number 9 to, num to a number 0. So we have fixed that problem. Uh, let's remove the filter. So we just click all cases. OK, and you can see no observations are omitted, and we don't have a label here called filter anymore. So we have fixed one error in the variable smoker the other observations were seemingly okay um, however if you have made any errors in, in entering uh, a zero as an, a number one or the reverse you won't discover that uh, through this procedure. The only way to discover that is to do a double data entry uh, so you get two files and then compare them uh, that's another process I'm not going to talk more about that here let's take another variable Let's take fever, descriptive statistics, frequencies, and we have fever. And we see for fever that fever not present, coded as a zero, fever present, coded as a one, and again we have one irritating number nine. So we need to find that and check that against the raw data. So let's start by finding it. So we go to 
data select cases if and let's remove smoker and add fever instead so fever equals 9 and we again see we have our filter on most of the observations are blocked out let's now find this observation because we have our data set is larger than we want to we don't want to look through all of that and again we put in our patient number which makes it easier for us to find it and it's patient number 445 so let's go to patient number 445 scrolling okay so this is patient number 445 we can see that that is the only one that is not deselected and in fever we have an I so let's go and check in the raw data that we have if it's a hospital chart or whatever it is and, and then we find that again it actually should correspond to a zero so we change it to a zero so we'll correct that error as well so let's go back select cases and again select all cases so now we can see all cases are selected no filter on and let's proceed to the next variable analyze descriptive statistics frequencies and let's go for gender and remove patient ID uh, click OK and you can see that we have one female and another label uh, uh, we have one person labeled as female with a lowercase f 349 labeled as female with a, with a capital F and 218 as uh, male the computer will perceive this as three different uh, genders which is uh, not what we want so the easiest way is to find the female with a lowercase f and just change f to uh, uh, uppercase uh, s f instead so let's do that data select cases if gender equals uh, see how it works and again try and find that one by looking for the patient number this patient number 570 which is actually our last observation in our data set let's go to gender yeah there we have it and let's replace that with a capital F okay we'll change that data select case I can just mention that I, I put a tag before and after female to indicate that this is actually um, a text variable not not a, a, a variable that is a number it's a string variable so let's go for all cases and we should actually check afterwards that we managed to fix our problem so let's have a quick look at gender again 
and we can start to see that now we have 350 female with a capital F and 218 male with a capital M and that is exactly how we want it to look like so let's proceed with our data checking and uh, let's take another variable uh, let's take uh, date of birth see how that looks like so we can see they can present it in, in order. Uh, in this case, we have formatted. So we have year, uh, and then month, and then day. So it starts with 1905, which is possible. And then it goes up to... Uh, 2012 uh, which in our case is also perfectly reasonable uh, if we have a, a very long list we may not want to scroll through all this list then we can um, in the frequencies we can say that we want the maximum and minimum value and then we get that here and then we can ignore this long table uh, and we can see that it goes from someone born 1905 to someone born 2012 so that was okay uh, let's proceed to another variable Uh, we can take date of presentation when they when they had their consultation at the clinic, and again we can we want to see at minimum and maximum, and click OK, and then we will see that the minimum is uh, 2012, second of March 2012, which makes sense in our data set. And then we have the latest date of presentation is the year 2913, which is, it doesn't make sense. So the question is, is that one single extreme observation or do we have a lot of them? And then we need to go down in this table to look more in detail. Uh, and the problem comes in the top end. So let's go to the top end first and have a look. Scrolling down and we can see here that we have one date which is 13th of June uh, which makes sense uh, and then we have one single observation which is 2913 for year April and 28th 28th of April 2913 so we want to find that case with uh, 2913 uh, to see and to check that against the raw uh, data we have. To find the peculiar date of presentation, let's use another function. Uh, let's sort cases and let's move over date of presentation to sort by. Uh, let's tick the shending and click OK and let's have a look and we can see that the lowest date comes first and if you scroll down to the end we have the peculiar date as the last date and uh, when we check that uh, towards the raw uh, data we find that it should be 2013 and the same month and day so let's change that Okay, now we've fixed that problem. So this was just a short tutorial of how to correct uh, obviously incorrect values. Thanks for listening.